Hello, hello, fellow great tens. It's Mr. Tetra again. Look, we are back uh, with another probability. And now let's attempt this question and see in terms of what is it that we are given here. Now, uh, to begin with, uh, this question basically uh, it requires us to do this. So now uh, they are saying now you are having what? You are having a letter, right? They say a letter is chosen from a uh, random or rather from uh, a word algebra. Now they want us to calculate what is going to be then uh, the probability of uh, your letter A. Now, uh, for you to uh, find out what is the probability of your letter A, you are going to say, firstly, how many, uh, you know, alphabets are you having there? So this is A, this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, right? Which means the totality of your sample space or your outcome is seven. And how many A's are you then having? You're only having this one and two A's, right? So now, which means the probability of you having your letter A, it is going to be two out of seven right it is going to be two out of seven which is your probability for getting your a uh your a then that's all then now the second one uh now they want you to find out what is the probability of what consonant right uh consonant look i know some of you have already forgotten this you know your consonants are basically your uh your alphabet except your vowels remember your vowels it's a b uh, it's R A E O U or A E I O U, right? So, which means now those ones except your uh your vowels is going to be you are going to remove this, you are going to remove this, and you are going to remove that. So, which means you are going to be left with one, your two, your three, and your four. Which means this is going to be four out of seven, which is going to be the probability of your consonant. Are we fine? Yes. Then now let's look at now your 7.2. Now they say in a class of 30 grade tens, the following uh, information is given. Now they are saying you are having five learners who are right-handed. You are having 12 learners who are play soccer. You're having three learners who play soccer and are what? And are right-handed. Now, what is it then that you are going to do? So this three here, it is your intersection, right? Because this is the soccer and also right-handed. So now let's see in terms of what the question requires us to do. They say, let R be the set representing right and then S be the set representing soccer. They want you to draw your Venn diagram of the above information. Now let's start. Now this is going to be us drawing our Venn diagram, right? Uh, yes, surely you can see this is going to be our nice little, you know, box. And then we draw our cycle in here. We draw the other cycle in here, right? Now, so what is it that you're going to do? Uh, now, we are saying this is what this represent your right hand. This represent your soccer. And we are saying the total of the sample space, it must be 30. Now let's start. So you're going to start in the middle. So the middle one, you are having what? You're having three. Those who are right-handed and also do soccer, right? They are three. So which means you're going to have three there. And now if you want the ones now who are what? Who are right-handed. The ones who are right-handed only. It is going to be what? It's going to be now the five. It's going to be the five subtract the three because the three, isn't it? That the three, it's those who are, yes, right-handed plus also, they do what they do, the soccer, right? So, which means this is going to be 5 subtract 3, which is going to be a 2. And your soccer in here, those who are, you know, playing soccer, it's going to be your 12 subtract your 3, which is your intersection. Then the answer that you're going to get, it's 9. So, which means this is 9. I would get. But now, I want us to check this. Now, if you are having 2 plus uh, you know, if you are having two plus your three plus your nine, the totality that you are getting is 14, right? And you are supposed, uh, you are expected to have what, uh, you know, to have 30, which means now the rest or the ones that are remaining in there, they are the ones who are not, you know, right-handed and neither do they even take soccer, right? So which means you're going to say now, this is going to be uh, your 30 
we are going to say to calculate the ones who are doing nothing we can even let that to be x so you're going to say your x now is going to be 30 uh subtract your what subtract your two plus your three plus your nine isn't it so then which means your x those who are doing nothing it's going to be uh your 30 subtract your 14 and your 30 subtract your 14 it's 16 so which means here those ones who are doing nothing they are going to be 16 all together that is going to be that and now let's look at now your 7.2.2 uh, then this is going to be your complete Venn diagram. Your 7.2.2 require you to say now, are the events of playing soccer and right hand mutually exclusive? Now they say give a reason for your answer. Remember for mutually exclusive, for mutually exclusive, uh, exclusive, there is no intersection. There is no intersection, right? And, you know, intersection in terms of Venn diagram, which means basically there is no part here. There's nothing in the middle. These things are independently drawn, right? For mutually exclusive. But if you can look at this one here, you are having your, uh, your what? You are having your intersection here. So which means the answer that you're going to give here, you're going to say, look, your 7.2.2 is, uh, they say, are these mutually exclusive? You are going to say no why then your reason is going to be because now remember this your intersection is given by probability of a and b right it is given by probability of a and b this part here your three so which means the probability of a and b in this case is not equal to zero because you are having a three so which means you are going to say no because the probability here of a and your b is actually not equal to zero because the probability of a and b is given by what by three that's going to be the reason why you are writing that and after that you're having 2.2.3 now in that they say how many are uh, learners in the class are left-handed and do not play soccer right so now they want those who are left-handed and do not play soccer so which means basically they want those who are left-handed only right is it left-handed right uh, so which means they want those who are taking neither, right? So which means this one is the ones who are right-handed. So we are not going to take this one. The three also we are not going to take because those ones, those that are right-handed and have played soccer and these ones are not. So which means the only number that you are going to get here is 16. So which means the probability of left, you know, left-handed, it is going to be what? It's going to be 16 divided by your 13 right and what is going to be your 16 now divide by your 30 uh the answer that you are going to get there let's see uh in terms of decimals i think this is over your 30 and you know firstly we know this is going to give us i think this is going to be 8 over your 15 and this is what this is 0 0.53 i think this is going to be uh 0 0.53 right then that is going to be your answer and the last question now require you to say now determine the probability that uh the learners uh the learner is left-handed and plays soccer they say is left-handed and plays soccer so here they want what they want the intersection they want the intersection so basically they say probability of uh left oh now not necessarily right but left-handed and plays soccer now, what is then going to the probability of left-handed? Do you have anything for the left-handed? Uh, yes, these ones are the left-handed. And those who are playing soccer, right? And since they did not specify to say soccer only, which means they can be also right-handed as long as though they do what, as long as they do the soccer. I would okay. So, which means now, what is it? Because they didn't say uh, play soccer only, right? So, which means now, what is it that you are going to do? Uh, so, here you are going to say now, this is going to be what? Remember, because you can have those who are right-handed, but still also left-handed and still do soccer, right? So, which means I think this, the probability of left-handed and soccer, it is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by 16 plus, now plus your nine. And because they did not say play soccer uh, only right Th play soccer only which means now they can also be a uh, right-handed but still play soccer right so which means you are going to then include the three also over your 30 and the answer that you're going to get this is going to be uh 16 
plus your 9 plus your 3, which is our 28, I think. Yes, this is going to be 28. Divide or rather subtract. Now, this is going to be, I mean, divide by 30. This is going to be 0, comma what? Uh, when you say this, divide by 30. Uh, the C, this is going to be 0, 0,93. So this is going to be 0, 0,93. And then that is going to be a probability. And then you have successfully, you know, uh, written this particular question. Thank you very much.